Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today I'm going to be talking about universal lip colors every woman should have in her wardrobe. It's like a complete wardrobe of lip colors. As some of you may know, I recently purged my lipstick collection. It was huge. And I had been wanting to do this video for quite a while. I had done a lot of research on it, but I didn't really feel like I could do it until I had culled out my lipstick collection. And if you're interested in watching that video, there'll be links around. Once I got done decluttering my lipstick collection and I was down to the shades that I really loved, it was easier for me to reference my research and crosswalk it through my own collection. So what I'm going to show you today is an, kind of a blend. A blend of what I found in my research and also a blend of what I love in my collection. If you're interested in seeing my research, I'm going to go ahead and put a link into the Pinterest board and I'll have all of those links available for you in case you want to see what else was on that list and maybe crosswalk that through your collection as well. So I'm going to start off from light to dark. Everything I have here is currently available. As I go through these lipstick recommendations, I am kind of breaking them up into shade categories. In some of like the more wearable categories like nudes and mauves, I have more than one choice. And it's not that I think you should have all of those, but you should have one represented in that category. And me being me, couldn't choose, so I had to bust out the best ones, the best of the best. But I did really keep this down to two or three in each category. Let's get to it. We're going to be doing some swatching and chatting about the formula. Let's go ahead and start off with what I have on my lips right now. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. Now, I think the formula is terrific. It's not too sticky. It gives you some nice shine, some nice coverage. I think Rihanna does a really beautiful job in working to find colors that are going to be universally flattering across a lot of skin tones and a lot of shade ranges. So I think this is a prime example of that. This will look good on cool tone, warm tone, anywhere from light to dark skin tones. It'll work for everyone. So these first two I'm talking about can be worn alone like I'm doing now, but they're also great to have when you want to just kind of refresh your lipstick. You don't want to necessarily reapply, but your lips are getting a little dry and you want to just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. And I find that these, this one and the one I'm going to talk about next are wonderful for that. The next one I want to talk about is from L'Oreal. It's the Colorish Shine Lipstick. I guess we'll call it a lipstick in the shade 904 Varnished Rosewood. I've talked about this quite a bit on my channel on and off since I purchased it. This was, I think, a new release this summer. I, this is like, oh, I have to get a back of this because I love this. I think this is just a perfect nudie shade for when you want to be like bopping around town, running some errands, you don't want to look too overdone, but you want a little color on your lip, I think this is awesome. Plus, it also fits into that category of being able to refresh a lip color. So this is just such a go-to for me when I travel, keeping it in my handbag. It's phenomenal. And hey, it's from the drugstore. It does come in other shades, but this is the shade I love the best. I actually decluttered some of the other shades that I picked up because I didn't find myself reaching for them, and I found that this really was the most flattering, like, neutral. The next shade category we're going to talk about are nudes, and the first one I have is from Marc Jacobs. It's the Lamarck Lip Cream in the shade 246 Slow Burn. I'm pretty sure what I have, which is a small, like, deluxe sample size, was a Sephora gift, like a birthday gift one year, and I think it's phenomenal. I love how creamy it is. I love the pigmentation and the shade is awesome. I think if I were ever to use this all up, <laughs> I would definitely pick this up in a full size. I think it's great. And once again, I think it's a color that could go work appropriate, daytime appropriate, anytime appropriate. If you've ever done any like lipstick try-ons where you try on a bunch of lipsticks and then you're just wiping them off, 
it really is hard on your lips and makes them very dry. So I am supplementing a little bit in between this with this Blistex Deep Renewal. I, this is my favorite lip balm, hands down. Super cheap. The last one in the nude category is from NARS. It's part of their Audacious Lipstick line, and this is the shade Anna. So I did a quick search before shooting this video because I did want to make sure everything was still available. The footnote to this is that Sephora does not carry this formula anymore from NARS. This is the Audacious Lipstick line. However, it is on the NARS website if you want to get it, and it's probably a counter wherever NARS is sold. So this shade is Anna. It leans a little bit pinker, but it's still what I would consider a nude. This formula of lipstick is beautiful. It's such a beautiful formula. It is a little bit higher end, but uh, the packaging is very luxe. If you are into packaging, it has that little magnetic clasp. Sometimes I'm into that. I think this is a gorgeous shade. The next one is from Wander Beauty. It is the Wander Beauty Lip Setter. The shade is on the mauve. What's cool about this one is you have the lip product here. Wander Beauty being what it is, you often get a multi-use product so it has more than one purpose. This one also has a built-in lip liner at this side. So this is Wander Beauty on the mauve. So the next one in the mauve category could actually be in the nude category. It's like a dark nude. I have had it back and forth in between these two categories. It is one that is relatively new to my collection. It is from Fenty Beauty and it is called the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint Longwear Fluid Lip Color and the shade is uncuffed. And if you haven't seen these, it has this kind of an applicator. It is super easy to use. This is relatively new to my collection and I think it is Oh, one of my favorites. I'm so excited about this one. So while there is some dry down to this product, it doesn't dry down all the way because you do still get transfer. It's just not as much as you would get with a regular lipstick. So it is long wearing, but it isn't like bulletproof. And I'm okay with that, quite honestly. I just think this shade is such a great neutral. And once again, Fenty really works hard to come up with lip colors and shades that are gonna work across a vast majority of skin tones. I think it's fabulous. It is quickly becoming a favorite, favorite, favorite of the favorites. And one that I reach for all the time. Let's move on to pinks. I have two here that I'm gonna share with you. One is like a lighter pink and one is a darker pink. This is the lighter pink color. It is the Maybelline Color Sensational Creamy Mattes Lip Color in Lust for Blush. I'm really picky about pinks. I don't like a really like Barbie doll pink or um, just like that sugary looking pink. I think it is great for younger women, but as you get older, I think it looks weird. I think it makes you look very dated. And so I'm looking for a more sophisticated pink that maybe is a little bit more neutral. And I think both of these pinks fit that bill. This one I think is just stunning on the lips. Love that it's from the drugstore. And while it is a matte, it is really comfortable. These were all the rage a while back. I still love it and I think this color is fabulous. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. I think it has a little bit of a warmth to it so that it doesn't come off too like syrupy pink. I think it's fabulous. So this next shade is from YSL and it is the Rouge Pour Couture, the mattes. And the shade is Rose Perfecto or number 207. Sometimes they only have the numbers on the displays. This is definitely a splurge. It is really a high-end lipstick, but I just adore the packaging. And I think this packaging just really makes me happy. Plus, you can use the reflective side to apply. Just saying. If you didn't want to carry one of those lipstick holders, this would work. So this shade I feel is a little bit darker or a little brighter, darker, deeper pink. And this is one that I tend to reach for more during the summer. 
it's a tragedy that this kind of got buried in my collection this summer and I didn't wear it once. Really makes me sad because it is literally one of my favorite formulas and one of my favorite shades. It's a very smooth, comfortable formula. It is matte, but it's not drying. The next category we're going to move into are berries. And this is another new lipstick, new to my collection. It's the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Bond Girl. So I've had this shade in a couple different categories as well. Originally when I did my research it said it's a really wearable red and it kind of is but I feel like it leans a little bit more towards berry. It's like a re it's almost like the perfect deeper neutral shade. It could go a little bit red, a little bit berry. I think it's just a chameleon. <laughs> it works so many different ways and Again, I'm finding this is quickly, quickly becoming like a classic favorite lip color of mine that I find myself going, yes, I want to wear that again. I think this could be your perfect go to work color. It's just not too much. It's not too much. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's not too bold. It's worth the splurge because this is also an, a slightly you know, more high end lipstick. All right, now we're getting into the bolder territory. And I think everybody should have a beautiful red that they feel comfortable wearing. And that comfort is the key. Not so much in the feel of the lipstick, but the shade of the lipstick. I almost put this Fenty shade in this collection, but this is a much brighter shade of red. And I didn't feel like that everyone would be comfortable wearing that. I like it. I think it's a beautiful shade, but I do think what I have on my lips is a little bit more wearable and not so like, oh my god, she's wearing red, it's in your face. So this is from NARS. It is the uh, NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. So what's nice about this for application, do not look at mine because this is not a good example of it. Because you can sharpen it, you can get a nice firm point for getting close to your lip line. Sometimes when you're wearing a bold color like this, you either want to use a lip liner or you want to really be able to get right up to the edge. The lip line is going to become really noticeable. I know some people actually even then use concealer around it. That's a whole lot of fuss for me. So I'm looking for something that I can put on that's not going to be so high maintenance. Red is high maintenance. Let's just get that out the door. It is high maintenance. So when you choose to wear this, you know, just be prepared. You're going to be checking it to make sure you don't just have like the ring around your lips and it all worn off in the middle. And then it looks kind of funny. But I love this shade. I think it is a beautiful red. And I feel like it's neutral enough that it will suit just about everybody's skin tone. So the last category is what I would call like dark lipsticks. We're talking like really, really statement lipsticks. And Usually they are like a, like a dark purple. Um, one of the ones that was recommended was a MAC uh, lipstick. While I do have some really dark shades like that in my collection, in coming up with what I think would be universally flattering for a lot of people, I thought this might be a great choice. It gives you the dark shade without being too intense. So this is from Laura Mercier and it's her stick gloss in the shade Black Orchid. I love this formula from Laura Mercier. She ha It has other shades. What I like about this shade is it is dark, but it is also a little sheer. So you get that dark, kind of trendy look without it being like, oh my God, you're wearing like dark, dark purple matte liquid lipstick and you're like, whoa, that's just a little too intense. A little too Elvira for me. So this, I feel, gives you that fashion look, fashion statement lip, without it being like too dark, too overpowering, and the formula is super comfortable to wear. And it's easy just to like, yeah, okay, you've eaten, you just want to reapply a little bit, you're good to go. So I publish videos every Saturday morning and I'll leave a link to last week's video right up here. And if you're new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time, I would love it if you'd hit this little B icon and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you real soon. Bye.